Welcome you here. So tonight we're actually here um, celebrating a conference taking place next next month in New York City, which is the 140 conference the state of now. It's uh, June 19th and 20th, so uh, I'd like to welcome you here. I'm Jeff Palmer. Uh, yeah, I came in today from New York, uh, although it was, yeah, uh, it was a challenge to be here. We have a bunch of speakers from the conference that I want to bring up stage in a minute to just, to just acknowledge them because for some reason we have more people from the Ontario speaking at this conference than from any, any other place in the world. I don't know how that worked out. But, uh, so thank you guys for uh, coming. So uh, anyone here um, actually been to a 140 conference before? Oh, okay. So those of you who weren't to a conference, talk to someone and just raise their hand. Uh, what I will tell you that's different about the event this year in New York City is um, the uh, content is a little bit different. Uh, uh, this year I, I spent an entire year traveling around the world meeting people that have discovered meaning in their life. People that are not shy about sharing life experiences. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's almost two days. Of, is, uh, is Oprah, was Oprah popular in Canada? Yeah. All right, well, good. So it's about two days of nonstop Oprah, shared with you by about 100 different voices. Uh, but there, there are people who will be uh, uh, sharing stories about different parts of their life, and it's, um, it's a very interesting conference, but what you get out of it really are the people you meet, because there is, uh, I'm convinced that if nothing else, the times we're living in today are very special. And uh, what I've discovered is a, uh, a rise of humanity and an, uh, an, a rise of spirituality in a way which I can't really explain. But in a world that has 7 billion people on it, there are hundreds of millions of people connecting every day. And for most people, they're total strangers, but the internet is providing a way for people to discover things. Just curious, has anyone here today, in the last, I don't know, month or two months, or even this year, seen a Facebook status update or a tweet from somebody and, and called them because of what you saw? Yeah. Yes? You ever wonder how you're connecting emotions to these, these tweets and to these status updates? That, to me, is the magic, right? The ability to feel. Somehow, someone puts a word out there on Facebook or on Twitter, and you're connecting to it, and you're acting on it, right? This, this, that wasn't, it wasn't like that before. There is something going on which is um, really at the heart of the state of now. But I believe that, that, that we're really living in very different times. And when history is written about what's happening, um, it will be in a, um, it, 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 will, it will try to be explained to us. And the, the other thing which I'm always challenged by is the fact that there always are people in the crowd that think Twitter is, uh, people tweet too, too silly things or people's status updates are meaningless. But anyone here have kids? All right, so lots of us. So I have twin sons, and they're, they're 18 now. We go to university in the fall. Um, and I'll tell you that uh, 14 years ago, 14 years ago, um, my father passed away, and I was at my grandfather's house uh, afterwards. And I saw a photograph of my dad as an eight-year-old kid having his photo taken. And it, and it always bothered me what my dad was thinking about having his photo taken from the photographer. It bothered me what the photographer thought of my kid, dad as an eight-year-old kid. The mistake I made is I didn't ask my grandfather at the time what he thought of the whole situation. But what I realized is that we're living in times today where we can leave digital breadcrumbs wherever we go. And I think this is important that, you know, you may think that what you're, right, what you're experiencing is trivial, it doesn't matter. But I'll tell you that when you're alive and you can capture a thought and share it with people, it matters. And what really matters is that your great, 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 great grandchildren can actually one day find a way to recompose you. Because your kids, for sure, are growing up in a generation where their photographs, their uh, tweets, their status updates, their videos, their blog posts, everything about them is being shared and it's happening in, in, in real time. It used to be not too long ago, certainly in the 20th century, that if you were infamous or famous, your life was chronicalized. So you, had, you either were absolutely amazing for good or absolutely horrible, and people knew every detail about you. If you were an ordinary person going about your life, not so much. But today, you know, you have your future children understand what a good day is, what a bad day is. They can understand that if you had a shitty day today, and they're 22 years old now, and they're experiencing a shitty day, they know they, they're not by themselves. There's a connectedness that goes on that, 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 that is going to be echoed for forever in some ways. And it's all about connecting and allowing yourself to share. But I, I do believe that digital breadcrumbs are the way to go, and I think that we're living in times right now where a lot of this will show itself. And so, for all of you who have kids out there, 
I mean, I don't know about you, but it's like I have a hard time talking to my kids when they're kids. And now that they're 18, I still, they're still kids. So I, I used to write a, I used to write a newsletter when my kids were four or five years old, and I've been blogging on and off ever since. And um, I know my kids read my status updates. I know they read my my Facebook updates. But at the same time, it's it's just hard to um, to figure out how to connect because it's uh, it's easier sometimes to talk to a stranger than it is around kids. But I think that the ability for us to share our lives, to connect, to engage in real time has real meaning. And I think it's, it's something which is going to um, have a positive effect on, on lots of things. 